Hello there. What is going on, everybody? We are playing some Star Wars Legion today, and uh, we're using some uh, crashed Imperial Raider as our terrain. I'm playing down at FLGS Orlando. We're playing against uh, an actual Imperial. You mind if I capture your outfit on the video? Not at all. All right, we're playing against Sean today, who is coming in true Imperial form, and we have triple bikes and an ATST. We have an Imperial officer over here uh, as well as a couple of, uh, couple of, well, one order of snow troopers that are actually mud troopers, but That's right. technically they're snow troopers for the game mechanics purposes. And uh, we got triple snipers and then uh, two more storm troopers. So we're kind of light on the core on this army today, but real heavy on the vehicles. And so there's gonna be a lot of firepower for me to deal with. Uh, I'm bringing a, a heavy on the special forces today because I got Aiden uh, and the Inferno squad. Also uh, two units of death troopers. Uh, so I mean, hopefully they will all synergize and work together. I got two shore trooper units. They're both built the same with HQ uplink and offensive push, um, and then two mortars, and also a vanilla basic bland stormtrooper unit. And uh, we are already done the mini game. We were playing advanced positions today, intercept the transmissions, and supply drop. Supply drop is always a fun one. So we're going to continue getting all of those set up today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully this will be a fun battle and we'll talk to you guys later. Let's uh, let's jump to set up. All right, we are all set up. We have our objectives in the kind of middle line of the board. Uh, I've kind of put a lot of people behind some of the terrain over here. Sean put the uh, walker down last with 11 activations. He had a lot of uh, freedom over me. Snipers up there, snipers up there, and you have another sniper down here. You got the three bikes, this one. These guys are pointed that way. They just, the minis wouldn't fit, so he's, we, we know that they're actually pointed that way. Once we move, we're gonna break the speeder bikes out. They're gonna be able to come down this way. Uh, I got Aiden Versio over here. I did infiltrate with, with uh, Inferno Squad. I did not infiltrate with Aiden Versio, though. She retains the rank of commander. And uh, got the Death Troopers over this way. Uh, we're getting ready to open up. You have your first card? I have. All right, uh, I'm going with Coordinated Fire, and you're going with Assault, assault. so we're going to roll off. Since I'm the blue player, it means I get the block. So if you want to roll a red, uh, I guess I'll get to go first, which is actually very fortunate. Indeed. Uh, but however, this one only lets me issue orders to core units, so it's going to be a little interesting. Yep. Uh, well, there's a pretty good chance. Against I went with Snipers. these guys first. I decided I'm not going to use them for fire support, so I aimed, uh, and which gave these guys an aim token, and I'm firing at the Snipers. And they don't remove, so they're only going to get one action. So that, oh, that's problematic. It is problematic. Because so all they're going to do is clamor this guy Save down. the whole unit that way and mm -hmm. yeah, live, to sh live to shoot another day, right? Indeed. Okay. Well, that was good because I, I, I aimed and shot. I only got one hit, but it didn't go through because uh, even though I'm the same elevation, this little uh, piece was in the way, and we decided the scaffolding was light cover. So uh, The glory of suppression. Yeah. So he didn't lose any units, but he did uh, take two suppression. So all right, I'm just going back to me. Um, I don't know if I'm, the pressure is a little bit lower now. I don't really have to fight, fire at the uh, uh, the sniper team as much now. Um, and I don't think I can reach that sniper team. So uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll take a shot at the ATST. Uh, I'll take this guy. I'll have him go and he'll aim and shoot at the ATST. Why not? Um, I got to aim. Um, I'm going to reroll these two. No. Um, so nothing happens, uh, but I do get to pass an aim token over. Uh, I'll give this to Aiden Versio. No, no, I'll give it to these guys. Can I reach them? Range one to two? Yeah, yeah. I'll give it to yeah. I'll give it to Inferno Squad. All right, so I just activated, uh, pulled from the pile, got uh, the Inferno Squad, and I had range four here, so Del Mico took a shot. I uh, used the, the aim tokens. I made it two crits with Pierce one, because I had a couple of aims, and uh, he rolled two white blocks, and then. So one still got through, but then he used the R4 droid to repair. <laughs> so I got no damage on this thing, even with two crits and pierce. Oh, lovely. No All right, game. so he, he pulls the, the, the walker. He did a far enough move to put these guys in a range two, and he's gonna hit them with the blast cannon, so they're not gonna, take, they're not gonna get advantage of uh, the heavy cover or the low profile they got from the supply crate. They got camouflage, and so I, I have to rely on that surge token and that dodge token to help me stay alive. Um, I see one. No, well, you, you do have the hammers, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I will cancel one with the dodge, so I'll be rolling against five, and this could do some serious damage. I'm hoping to to have some uh, some fortunate red dice here. Uh, well, it looks like only one wound is going to go through. That is pretty fortunate, red dice. That's pretty fortunate, yes, uh, and that'll go to Sane Marana, who is. Uh, 
our unfortunate little, uh, she's got to be the first one to take the damage. She died in the book, so she's got to die first in the game. That's right. Keeping it thematic. All right, we're closing in on the end of this. I have taken out two snipers. I have lost uh, one dude here. And well, two dudes here, and we rezzed one, but now the bikers are coming in. These guys uh, stopped just outside of my standby range. I had one of the death troopers do a dodge and standby, which gave them a free aim. These guys are coming in, they're gonna take a shot, uh, double move, and then shoot. Oh, um, it looks like two hits, yep. and that would be heavy cover, but that still will give me suppression, which takes away my standby, which is this one. And we'll get one of these fancy suppression tokens. All right. Yeah, I don't think you would have gotten close enough to trigger stand unless you did a triple move, which yeah. which now you have the option, I suppose. Yes, I have. All right, all the bikes moved up. Uh, Death Troopers managed to save, so uh, didn't lose any DTs, although you got some suppression. We've cleared the end of the round. We're moving into round two, and I'm going to lead us off with Tactical Strike, and you're using Pinned Down. Oh, is that the one where after you shoot me, you get to take a... Uh, uh, Send your order token back into your pool. Ah, uh, yeah, and that one really hurts against Tactical Strike because they have to have a face-up order token to make this work. Um, <clears throat> but you know, it's, uh, it's, it's it is what it is. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do it. So you're going first. Where are you putting your two? Oh yeah, you're only two. Yep. And do you have to have face-up to do it? I, that's right. You do? do? Or do you have to have face-up to trigger that? Or is it any supporter vehicle? After a friendly support or heavy unit performs an attack. So oh. they don't have to be... My ATST oh. and all my uh, speeder bikes yeah. now. That is that is rough. All right, so here's what I'm going to do to help this all. Um, yeah, well, actually, let's see. Who are you doing first? Because I'm going to probably do some HQ uplinks. It's going to be these uh, bikes and these bikes. Okay. Nice. All right. So I'm doing HQ up links on both of my uh, short troopers. And so that'll give them aim tokens. And then I'll also pass it to these guys. So I'm going to be taking a whole lot of orders out of the bag. So if you do shuffle stuff back in the bag, hopefully I'll still get it right back out. And then this is Iden Versio and then three special forces. Uh, so all I'm going to have is this one stormtrooper unit in the bag. So I'm going to have almost full order control, oh, wow. at least at the beginning of the round. I'll begin to lose that as you start shooting. All right, so he went with speeder bikes first. They took a shot into these death troopers. He actually killed three of them and shuffled their order back into the pile. So they no longer have a face-up order token. It's just the leader and the DLT. Now, this unit did get a back to from that supply point, And so I might be able to pick one of those death troopers up before the end of the round. But before that happens, I'm going to activate these other death troopers since he gave this other speeder bike a face-up order. They're going to go ahead and activate. Uh, they're going to reduce their maximum speed to one, which is going to give them steady and tactical one. So if they move, they will get a free aim token. Uh, and and uh, since you guys shot me, I think I should be able to shoot you back. Um, we are already at range three, but um, gosh, st I get a free I get a free aim if I move. So uh, maybe I want to move just just a little bit farther back. So this way you can't aim and shoot here. Maybe you'll have to move up. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, didn't they have? No, they didn't have. Okay, so let's... Uh, and I've got offensive push. I could really do some damage. Let's go... Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and move in. Oh. Let's move a little closer because... Well, actually, will that, would that work? Would I be able to get into range two with a speed one move? I might be able to. Well, I'm going to try it. That's the attempt. Right. So we got him just into range two. We, th we threw... Uh, I had one guy still roll his black die. I had the DLT roll his three, and then I had everybody else roll the white dice. We got seven hits through after the light cover. So we got three. You're going to block three? Yep. So that's four damage. How much do they have each? We got three each. So that's three. one down. And okay. So uh, this will be your your one in the rear. Well, yep. There you go. And then one wound. So not enough to take them off. That's what I was, I was hoping to take them off the board. But your white dice have been at least at least above average so far this game. Especially for me. Yeah. All right. Well, that's something. Hey, at least they, they, they've activated now, so their order token can't go back in the pile. All right, I, I went with uh, Inferno Squad here. They did the move, one move out steady, put me in range three. I'm going to go for his commander. Uh, I got three aims here. I should go for that guy with all the aims I have, but I'm not. All right, uh, we have Surge to hit, so that's going to be four hits. Um, uh, and I'll spend an aim to upgrade this, and I'll spend an aim to upgrade this, and then I'll spend an aim to give it Pierce. Okay. Yeah, so that's one of my three aims. So that's gonna be uh, six. So you're gonna you're gonna get light cover. So that's gonna be five with Pierce one. And so she's got four health. Got her. Damn. 
Got her. Okay. And then since that was just one action, I'll get to move back. I forgot I should have moved back on those other guys. Um, I didn't really even think about that. I'm just going to put them exactly back where they were. Yeah, I forgot the whole thing about the steady. All right, we've been moving up. My Death Trooper's got one guy left. He just had everything shooting in here. I rezzed the DLT with the back to He got killed again. Um, and he he's brought both two more snipers up to contest the middle objective. This is a scoring round. Uh, I've had these guys with fire support kill one. Um, well, we split fire, but we, uh, we, we, we killed some of the stormtroopers. We killed one of the snipers. Then Iden went up and sniped the other sniper. So we've been doing a little anti-sniper sniping. Uh, and so we're about tied with like two units here of his and two units here of mine contesting the middle one. Uh, he's clearly got that one back there with a uh, trooper unit back there. I've got this one up here, but he just drew the ATST. So let's see what the ATST is going to do. It's hopefully going to wipe these guys off with an aim and triple rainbow. Oh boy. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. You, oh, because you because you can throw everything onto them. Yep. Well, that would be unfortunate. That would be glorious. Okay, I see. Spending the aim. You do have the hammers pilot pilot in there. Yeah. I see lots of hits. That's I see only two blanks out of all of that. So that's nine, eight, seven, seven, seven hits. hits. Yep. Okay, and I have no protection on these guys at all. None. So I've got to roll seven red dice. Um, that's fun. I've got four here. I'll just roll these four, and then I'll roll three more. Uh, so that's three blocks, and I'll roll three more. Three. Uh, I don't have defensive surge, so that's four blocks. So I'm gonna, it's going to be three wounds on these guys. Ouch. All right, so beginning of the uh, third round, uh, where the score is two to one, and I'm using some of these luxury place dots. I'll just right there, but I know he's marking his own. I'm just using damage counters. Um, he made the Delmico Snow Trooper unit, the new commander, the Mud Troopers, um, and I played Concussive Blast and he played Push. Uh, I won the roll off, so Iden Versio is going to go first. She's going to recover. Um, she did get Precision Scopes from one of those tokens, so she's going to get that back and uh, Offensive Pushback. So she's got a lot of aim potential right now. Really, really, really happy with how she's been playing so far this game. In other games, she usually dies right away. So that is very, very nice. Uh, I'm going to give... Uh, the Inferno Squad a free dodge token since they're close enough to Iden. And uh, and I think that's good. And yeah, they keep their surge token. So yeah, that's that's about it. Iden's gonna go first, she's gonna activate, she's gonna recover, and she, I think she's gonna move up and uh, and try and she's gonna see if she can kill your uh, snow trooper unit. I think that's what she wants to do. Alright, Iden went up, moved up into into there, shot through the window. Uh, with the five dice attack, and we rolled five hits, and uh, he rolled four blocks, so it wasn't as, as triumphant as I thought it was going to be. But that, that happens sometimes. So I just scatter them and pulled some of the rest of the minis out into the open, which is always a nice thing. Okay. Oh, yes. All right, so these guys went here. They only got one wound in, but then these guys moved up, four fired hits. through there to this guy. We got one of them down. Now, these guys are going... You're going to where? The Stormtroopers? Stormtroopers. Four hits. Is that aim and a shot? That's an aim and a shot. All right. Four hits. Um, do I, I have light cover because of the suppression, so three hits. hits. All right. Uh, uh, I will only save one. Ouch. Boom, boom. Oh, I'm down to a single Stormtrooper there. Oh, man. Johnny Stormo is his name. He, that's, he, he always said he wanted, he wanted Mama to name him Johnny Stormo. And, and now in this moment, watching all his friends, he's like, now I am Johnny Stormo. So this is going to be a third suppression for that little guy. So pulled a core from the pile. Johnny Stormo rallied two suppression away, but still has no one, and just took a single shot into the new commander unit. Uh, hopefully they'll, they, they panicked this round. Hopefully they'll panic again. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep them suppressed. Uh, they have two units that can heal that ATST too. And I've got, what, three units or four damage on four it so far. Damage. It's an uphill battle trying to take that thing down, but we're working on it. All right, this speeder bike went, decided to kind of go up this way and take a shot at Johnny Stormo, rolled three hits. And, uh, one went away for light cover for the suppression, but I, Johnny Stormo rolled two saves. Johnny Stormo is like stands up and goes, that's just why they call me Johnny Stormo. Uh, I pulled a core from the pile. I'm going to go with this mortar over here. He's going to aim and shoot at these guys, and we're going to see what we can do here. Um, oh, well, we got an aim. Uh, one hit. One hit on those stormtroopers. It's only one, but it is a suppressive attack, so you're gonna get two suppression tokens. Uh, you'll... What, wait, you rolled too many dice. There's only one hit. So, 
Let's roll one, yeah. All right, you got it, but two suppression. Meant to be. Yeah. All right. I probably should have done the suppressive shot on your uh, on your commander. There. All right, end of the round. Sniper finally took out Johnny Stormo. Thought you know, and, and he saved too. He 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 rolled the he rolled the beautiful Johnny Stormo die, but uh, but the Pierce one was more than Johnny Stormo could take. So we're gonna actually probably get a, a little three D printed gravestone that says here lies Johnny Stormo. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I can't think of a good caption for him. Let me know one in the comments section. All right, so uh, round four. There's another squaring round. I played Pulse Scan. He played Covert Observation. Iden Versio. Oh, I should have rolled to see if she got rid of that suppression she started with, too. So she would have gotten rid of that suppression as well. So, um, But she she did a sniper shot, taking out a sniper that was up here. And then the droid, uh, we, we shot those guys. They were just range one. Hey! Oh, your commander is going to get rid of his suppression? That's right. Oh, he actually gets to do two actions. That's unfortunate. That's fantastic, is what you mean. I guess I guess that counts. Yeah. I guess that counts. All right. So these guys, they get to get back in the fight. I was so certain I was going to have them panicking off the board, but I guess I guess that's not the way things like to work out sometimes. <laughs> Now keep in mind, uh, if yes, you move, stand by. I know. Yeah, yeah. Although, granted, I don't have the. Uh, I, she's in sniper mode, so it's not going to be the greatest shot ever. But there may be something. There may be some, or she might move. Because if you shot her first, I don't even know if you could see her. Yeah, I could just move um, to where she can't see anybody. Well, if you do that. That's what I did. Yeah. Because yep. the, the droid doesn't count. He's small, so you can't use him to target her, and she can't use him to target you. That's all I'm really worried about. Mm -hmm. But just make sure that when you cohesify, they're also outside of range. For sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So I didn't, uh, didn't get to trigger standby off of these guys that came out here. I did jet death troopers. They actually did a double move for this back objective, which now they can contest that one. Uh, he had done a big shot into here, didn't get any damage through, uh, but now bikes are activating and they can potentially shoot Iden and uh, knock off her standby. All right, so what well, almost was going to be an aim and a shot, I reminded that uh, if he had aimed, I could have then triggered standby. So it just ended up being a, a, a naked shot that rolled perfectly into six hits. Uh, so we did some dodge and cover shenanigans. I triggered a field scanner. Iden's got like a whole bunch of cards. She's been getting, raiding these supply points all game. So she was able to uh, only take one wound out of all of that. So so that much was good. We used the shields though. The shield went away um, and uh, and then the, the dodge can canceled another. And then out of four dice, I rolled three blocks. So we're doing okay. We're doing okay. All right. Interesting turn of events is two bikes that have only had one bike left. One just one shot at my mortar. Like the bikes have been rolling really, really well for him. Uh, and then the other bike is moving up here to try to go after Gideon because uh, his AT uh, ST uh, almost almost completely one shotted my uh, Inferno squad. But Hask has one hit point left. This guy just rolled two hits. Uh, I have light cover for the suppression, so one's gonna go away. So I've got to roll. I've got to roll one save on Hask here. Now I do have a surge token, so the chances are with me, and I will, I will save it. Oh, so I will still have one trooper to contest this objective over here. Uh, and so the, his other stormtrooper did panic uh, and run away. So at the end of the round, I think you're gonna take your sniper and move him up here. Yep. Uh, so it's gonna be, he'll have that one, but I'll have the middle and this one. And so it'll be two for me and one to him, which will tie us up three, three, as we conclude turn four. This is uh, this is this is hot. The, the bikes have been white hot. They really have been. And then the ATST has done some some serious damage, and I kind of wasted my time shooting it. I put so many wounds into this thing, but he has both an Astromech and Delmico, and they both have exhausted their supply of healing. So there's only like one wound on the ATST right now. <laughs> so frustrating. <laughs> All right, we're moving into the beginning of turn five, and uh, I'm playing Incapacitate, and he's going with Ambush. So you're gonna win this one outright. I'm only gonna issue an order to Iden Versio. Uh, and we got to clean up stuff too. But she, this is one where her droid uh, gets to shock somebody and it's going to give them three suppression tokens. So that's really good for this scenario right now because if I'm hoping to make your commanders uh, panic off the board, 
That's an idea. Maybe, the, but then again, maybe you just give them the order, uh, so they go go before me, and then you don't have to worry about it. All right. Well, they have to rally first. True, but yeah. It, it, Speed it's, one, they're not going off the board before they recover. No, but they won't be since next next turn is, is a scoring, scoring turn. So I only have to have them panic once. So. Iden moved up. She shot these guys with the droids attack, which was suppressive, and then incapacitate happened. So, so these guys have six suppression on them right now. I need them to panic off away from the objective next turn uh, if I want any chance of maybe having this game. Or it, it might, it, it may come down to a tie. Gideon Hask has somehow gotten the spirit. He dug up the tombstone of uh, Johnny Storm. Seriously, right? Yeah. He's brought and up the Hask banner. will not die. He has six suppression on him as well. Carry so this the is suppression oh. avenue down here. Whereas over on this side, we've got a sniper and a stormtrooper unit, but I got death troopers kind of moving in. We have one round to make something happen. Uh, but the ATSD still hasn't gone yet at the end of turn five, so I guess I'm waiting to see. I'm all activated out. You got what? A biker unit and a. And yeah. an ATSD. Okay. All right, so Hask is still alive. Uh, he, I think he's kind of given up on trying to take out Hask, and uh, he's had these speeder bikes move, pivot, and try and shoot Iden. Only got one wound through. She's up at two wounds now. Uh, but the ATSD finally turned, lowered its guns, and is uh, going to do the blast attack. Oh yeah, he literally <laughs> just lowered his gun. All right, let's see. Uh, I have no aim on this one, so no I just aim. see four. Four. Yep. Two will go away. Heavy nope, cover. Nope, so no, nope. uh, I've got the blast. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right, you're right. All right, so I got to roll actually against four. Yeah, that's so nice. That's blast. Whoop, that doesn't count, even though I wished it did. All right, let's see how Iden's going to do here. Blank. Um, oh, four blanks. Wow, this game tempo suddenly shifted. Now she's still alive because the droid is going to take one of those wounds, so she'll have one wound left. But this is uh, dangerous now for. Well, all right, this last activation sniper moved up, took a shot into Iden, and two blanks. So she is going to be all right. We're clearing things out. Hask is going to go down to only five suppression. Uh, Iden went down to one suppression, and. Uh, and we are, uh, we're, we're golden. We're starting out for the next round. I've got three people on the board. Um, I'm pretty sure these dudes are going to panic. Uh, maybe, and maybe they don't. A lot of things could happen right now. Like, I could get lucky and maybe secure this objective, even though there's two units right there. Uh, hopefully I'll secure this one, but there's bikes that are coming around. Might not. Uh, and then, of course, it's just giant ATST, which is probably going to kill somebody. But then there's also Hask over here, and I just I don't know how to feel about him. All right, so I played Ambush. He went with standing orders, gave it to this dude. Um, Iden first tried to shoot back at this guy, forgetting the fact that she doesn't have surge to crit. So she rolled two surges, which are surge to hit, but both went away because heavy cover. Part of that stuff was in there, and I really shouldn't have even taken that shot. That was a little foolish. I probably should have gone in and taken a dodge because she has nimble. Um, but uh, that's what happened. So she moved in a little bit closer to the edge. Hopefully, uh, she's going to have some... Uh, a harder time getting shot because she's all the way in the corner here. All right, and then you're going with the sniper. He rallied, got rid of his suppression. He did rally, so that means he's just going to move, move back. And yeah, and then he's going to stand by. Okay, it's not a bad, not a bad move. I'm going to pull from the pile, which is going to be special forces. It's going to have to be these these troopers here, and they're going to move out. Um, to I'm going to do it like a. a like a speed one turn just to, just to the edge here, and I'm gonna let you trigger your standby. These guys are all coming with me. I kind of have to do this. Yeah, and go ahead and uh, either take your shot or take your move, whatever you're gonna do. Oh, you can. You don't have yeah, a standby can be a move. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, I would rather you just take a shot. Or... I'm obscuring. Yeah, yeah, you're you're getting out of their line of sight. So, yep. they can... so now I got to try and kill these stormtroopers, and that's of course what's going to happen. So, uh, all right, well we'll do it, and uh, let's see what I'm going to roll here for this this roll. I got to kill four stormtroopers. All right, so he was up here. He keeps sliding down, but they shot. Uh, he saved all of the hits. I rolled like four hits through, uh, but it was, I used the suppressive weapon, so uh, they're gonna have to. Uh, they have they have a chance to panic, and if they panic when they activate, then I will at least tie this point. All right. All right. 
I'm gonna do the uh, full strength uh, speeder over here. Okay, well, where are they going? Well, actually, hold on. Um, has she, she's gone this turn. She has gone. She has gone. Yeah, but um, I don't think you have a shot on her because she. I moved her so far into that corner. These, uh, if you want to check, these two uh, can still see her. She's obviously gonna have very heavy cover, but they've got her in arc. It's very. Oh yeah, I guess you can see her through the doorway. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But we're not. We're gonna save them since she's already gone. Um, we're gonna activate this one and try to take out. Uh, take take out Del Mico, who does have a dodge because he was close enough to Iden at the start of the round. Okay. So hopefully. So we're gonna aim and shoot. All right. Need a compulsory afterwards. And compulsory after. Come on, Del. We have the spirit. Oh, oh man. Well, you got a name. We do thank God have a name. Oh uh, my goodness. Not even a suppression. Okay, Del Mico. Okay, Del Mico. I see what you're doing there. Oh, he can now move slightly out of those arcs, and he might actually survive and win this game. Oh my god. All right, Del Mico's turn. So see if he, what he can rally here. Uh, he gets rid of one. So that brings him at, leaves him at four suppression, but Iden is a Courage 3 commander. I'm really glad I didn't take her as an operative now, because then I would have been panicking. So uh, Del is going to move. Uh, I want to be out of their arc, and I also want to be out of his arc, which seems to come right around here. So I think if I just move into this area here, that will that will do it for me. Um, yeah, and he can he so he's gonna move into right there. That's the yeah, idea. Yeah, nobody has me in their front arc anymore, and I'm I'm gonna hide out there, trying to nurse my wounds back to health while still keeping an eye on the objective. Woo. All right, Commander went. We'll eliminate two. But they're still gonna panic, and they're well, uh, speed this is one. This the nearest board edge. Oh, actually, that's that's actually gonna be pretty close because yeah. let's, let's no because your don't forget your board edge starts six inches oh, in. Oh bloody hell! You're yeah, right. Yeah. You're absolutely so right. So they're gonna go that way for sure. Yeah, yeah, just, From him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that would have been nice. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. If you now, I wonder. I, I have to look it up. I don't know if you can actually contest an objective while you're in panic mode. I think there's. Uh, I think that might be a, a rule that I, I... It doesn't come up very often. Unix don't panic all that often, uh, unless they're Mandalorians. Sometimes you shoot them like crazy. Right. Uh, all right, so those guys are panicking. They're out of range. That was huge. Uh, they still have three suppression. So can we recover since they panicked or no? No, no, it, takes, it consumes your activation. Okay. Yeah, so you don't get like another... You don't, get a, you don't even get to do free actions. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's terrible. All right, I think... Uh, I don't... All I have left is these Stormtroopers. Um, they gotta move somewhere. I, yeah, I think they're gonna have to dodge and move or something like that. Alright, I went with these stormtroopers. I had them move back just outside of range 2. This guy, which is his blast weapon, so they can get heavy cover, uh, but still uh, contesting this objective. Um, another beat bike went after Hask and failed. He had he, he actually, Hask had to roll, uh, he rolled a uh, surge, so I had to use his, his surge, but he's still alive. That's one more suppression, so he's up to Four now, and uh, it's all you. Um, the sniper's gone already. You've got the ATST, this speeder bike unit here, and then that one uh, stormtrooper unit that might or might not panic. It's going to be interesting. I think the, the the call here is to try to go for the try, try to kill Hask because you're not going to get Iden and these guys. I don't think. Um, and make sure you go with Hask because probably the sure thing. I think those speeder bikes can. Yeah, I think we're can, just gonna pivot with the speeder bikes. Pivot and shoot. Or you might be able to compulsory. You might. I don't think you'll have them after a compulsory. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna do it. I don't. Because you also angled the tool a little bit too. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. Well. Either way, you're still going to get your shot in. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't quite have them. So you, maybe a pivot and a shot is the best thing to do. Yeah, I think that's it's at least a six dice. All he's got is light cover because of the suppression. Oh, Hass, he's like, will you just leave me alone, Imperials? What do we got? We got one, two, three, four. All right, one goes away. I'll spend the dodge on the other. And now I'm left with rolling two. This is this is for this is for the win. Well, actually, no, the ATST could still, but this is this is for this is for Stormtrooper uh, Stormtrooper Joe. Storm, no, no, Jack. Stormy Joe. Stormy Joe is. That, I, oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh. Oh. My name is Gideon Hask. 
No one could stop me. All right. So now with with that, and it was uh, it was Stormy uh, jo Johnny Storm. Johnny Storm. Johnny Storm. Yeah, and Johnny Stormo. Stormo. Yes. All right. Anyway, so Johnny Stormo's uh, spirit is in Hask right now. It seriously caused the ATST to actually divert from these two. So Aiden is going to live because of Hask's sacrifice here. And, and he's got no choice but to just throw everything into Hask. Triple rainbow. I, I spent my dodge already. You got no aim on this one because you no had to pivot. Aim. So one, one two, two, three, four, five, six. You better. All right, one better will go dodge. away. One will go away. So I'll roll against five. I had to spend my surge already too. I've got nothing left. This is the end of the movie, right here. This is the end of the movie. This is a reverse rogue one. All right, thank Christ. All right, yeah, yeah, he's blown away in, in, in catastrophic fashion. As a matter of fact, the whole building like kind of blows up. This poor speeder bike guy is, yeah, so get, Hask will die. Uh, this point will remain uncontested. And uh, uh, I think all you have left, actually, this, this, is, this is kind of clutch right here, is to see if the Stormtrooper unit panics. Because I don't think you have any more activations. So two white dice. If if they're both blank, <laughs> uh, so you will get one action, and it doesn't matter. You just need to not die and not move. Yeah, we're just gonna throw uh, throw a, a dodge. Or you're you yeah, gonna attack them? Yeah, screw it. Yeah. Like, all right, last all right. Activation of the game. We're throwing four blast grenades. All right, you got two. All right, I'll roll two black and or two red, and we'll see. We'll, 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 we'll two, they both die. All right, but uh, either way, we're gonna scat. We're we're tied three three. You're going to score this one. There's two more. Yep. I'm going to score this one. There's two more. Nobody's going to score this one. We have a tie, and it's actually going to come down to points for the first time in a long time. All right, so after we counted up points, uh, I only got, I only killed 204 points of stuff. Like, I, I, I only really eliminated one of the commander and one stormtrooper unit. And two snipers. Oh, I did get two sniper teams, but they were kind of small. Whereas, like, a whole Death Trooper unit was massive. That was over 100 points right there. And then he also got ISF. And then he also got... I mean, these guys were so geared up. They were 110 points each and both mortars. So I think you got close, uh, over 500 points with all of this. So, um, yeah. Uh, real good game. Real Dude, good game awesome. Uh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you guys for watching. And that's going to conclude this uh, incredibly... Uh, what, deadlocked battle report. It was it was it was fun. It was it was a it was a slobber knocker. It was as they bigger. Say. <laughs> right.